Mathematics Grade 1 Comparison of two sets of objects Hello my dear children. Hope you all are doing well. Today I am going to teach you a new lesson. Okay children, look at here. This girl seems like in a problem. Let's see what's happened here. She has some visitors in the living room. So, she made some tea for them. Oh, there's one saucer missing. Does every saucer have a cup? Does every cup have a saucer? Do all the cups have equal amount of saucers? Shall we count them? There are four cups and three saucers. That means there are more cups than saucers. Let's match and find which side has more or which side has less objects. There are two sets of objects. We will name these sets as A and B. Now we will find out which set has more or less objects. Okay children, just like we find out about cups and saucers, now we will find out which has more or less objects. To do that, I will tell you an easy way. We will match them together and find out. Let's do them one by one. Seems like there are more desks than chairs. So my dear children, today we will be learning about Comparison of two sets of objects. That means we are going to compare two sets of objects and find out which has more and which has less. So here we have some beautiful flowers. Look, who's on that? There are some bees as well. Now, this little boy wants to know whether there are enough flowers for each bee. Does every flower have a bee? Does every bee have a flower? Do all the bees have equal amount of flowers. To find out answer, we will check this picture. As in the picture, you can see only one bee is along over there. So, there are less flowers and more bees. Next up, we have an activity to do. There are two groups. Which group has more objects and which group has less objects? We have done this type of activity at the beginning. So, I hope it's so easy. Let's match the balls and bats together. Okay, is there any extra bat which has no ball? Or is there any ball which has no bat? There is only one ball left, right? So as per this, there are more balls and less bats. 
Okay, children. I hope we have done enough activities to understand about more and less. Now, we will learn something new. Look here. There are some girls and we will find out whether this amount of hats are enough for the girls. Look here. These hats are enough for the girls. When at this kind of situation, we call this as these set objects are equal to each other. Look at these butterflies and flowers. You can see that they are equal to each other. So, we know now three words. More, less and equal. You have to study the spellings of these words. More. M. O R E plus L E double S equal E Q U A L. Okay, now read with me M O R E more L E double S plus E Q U A L equal. Okay, we will do some activities now. It's activity time. Match the objects in each group and underline the group that has more objects. Okay. As per the instructions, you have to match it and find out the group of objects that has more and underline it. Then you can see here some bunnies and carrots. Match the objects in each group then Find out which group has less objects and underline that. Okay, here we have a different activity. Count the number of toys in each row and circle the group that has less. This time, compare the rows and circle the group which has less objects. This is so easy. Do it with me. First draw one red car and two blue lorries. Which has less? Circle that. Second row three blue lorries and two red cars. Which has less? Circle that sets of object. Last one. Four blue lorries and five red cars. Which has less? Circle that side. Next one is also new to you. First, you can check the pictures. First sets of pictures are spoons and flocks, then books and pencils, then mangoes and birds. Now compare the object sets. Finally, find out which has equal number of objects and point it out. Next one also a different question. 
Look at these picture groups and write the suitable words. More, less or equal. Compare the sets in rectangles and then write down the correct word under it. More, less or equal. Okay children, hope you have learned something new today. Do the given activities and relevant student not in your mathematics writing book. Goodbye. Stay safe.